The Allen Edmonds McAllister has got to be my favorite dress shoe of all time, but it has one major flaw, and we'll talk about that later on in this video. So I remember the first time I ever saw a pair of Allen Edmonds McAllisters in the dark chili color, this color, it was in the Rockefeller Center area of Midtown Manhattan, New York City. They had a whole bunch of nice, very, very nice looking shoes on display. And I saw this one literally from 15 feet away. I thought that it was just the lines, the broguing, the detail, everything about all the decoration, the color, the shape, everything about this shoe. I said, that is a super, super nice shoe. I even remember I went up to the store associate and said, excuse me, what color is this? And he said, that's actually dark chili. Now they also had a lot of the walnut shoes such as this one. They had a lot of these on display as well. And when you put the walnuts and the dark chilies side by side, you can see there's actually not a whole lot of difference between the color. But for me, and I think for most of us, the dark chili will always take the edge over the walnut just because you can dress it up and dress it down a lot more. This, it's always going to be, it's always gonna be a super bright shoe. I think I said, and someone even commented in one of my old videos, that these are like wearing high beams or highlighters on your feet. These are, while they can be, they can make your feet pop, they could also dress in or they can blend in with a nice navy or charcoal business suit. So this is absolutely my favorite dress shoe as far as looks. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. I would not wear it with shorts. You probably could get away with it with some nice no-show socks. It's gonna look great with a pair of dark wash jeans. It's gonna look great with a pair of khakis. It's also gonna look great with an outfit that I'm wearing right now, which I'm just wearing. Light blue shirt, navy blazer in a wool silk linen, khaki colored twill pants. And for this video, I'm actually wearing a pair of navy colored Vans slip-ons. These are not the classic navy, but Vans calls them navy. I just got these for my wife for my birthday. I absolutely love these shoes. So, my favorite dress shoe. I barely ever wear it. Why? Well, most of you probably already saw the video that I did where I walked three and a half miles in these shoes and I was really interested in how they were actually going to make my feet feel. If you missed that video, it's gonna be linked above right now. But I know that the leather soles, they're pretty comfortable. They do mold to your feet. There's a different type of comfort to leather soles than there are with a pair of rubber soled shoes or rubber soled boots. But I wanted to actually take them out and walk around and see how my feet felt. Again, go watch that video I linked above, but the long and short of it was the bottoms of my feet were absolutely fine. However, my feet were absolutely killing me. I had some blisters over here and then the tops of my feet actually started to hurt just because this being a Balmoral Oxford type of shoe, since it's a closed lacing system, it did hurt the top of my instep. Now at the end of that video, I actually did say I was going to put a shoe stretcher in. You could see I have this one still in the stretcher. Put a shoe stretcher in, let them sit overnight, and actually take them out for a walk. Well, I actually did that the other day. I walked three miles, I wore the same pair of socks, that, well, not exactly the same pair, I don't know. I wore clean socks, but I wore the same type of socks, athletic bomba socks in navy blue, so they're a bit more dressy than the gray color but I also wanted to see how they felt with the navy blue. I gotta say that underfoot comfort was totally fine. The sides over here, the narrowness was gone, still rubbed a little bit, but I can deal with a little bit of rub so that I know the shoe is there. It's, I just can't deal if it gets too tight as my feet start to swell. So it did alleviate a lot of the pressure over here on the side, which I'm very grateful for. I didn't get a lot of pain up here, so overall, the shoe was pretty good. As far as underfoot comfort, again, my feet were totally fine, but I noticed, you know when you take a walk with a pair of running shoes, it moves with your foot, but sometimes with some you know, really heavy work boots, a lot of times it, it kind of fights your foot as you're walking, it just wants to stay like that. I didn't find these as flexible, but that wasn't really a huge deal. The problem with these shoes, particular, not on my left foot, problem with these shoes was now I have a new issue where right over here, this cut in to my ankle on the outside of my right foot. It seems like no matter what I do with these shoes, I can't get them to be as comfortable as a lot of my other shoes. And looking back, it's no wonder why my McAllister's, my Strands, and my Park Avenue's, which are all on the same exact shape, same thing, it's all the same shape and all the same size pretty much. It's no wonder why these things just sit on the shelf a lot more. That is their major flaw. 
Love the look of the shoe, love the feel of the shoe when I first put them on, but they're either killing me up here, killing me up here, or killing me over here. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna keep them? Am I going to get rid of them? I haven't decided yet. I definitely think that I'm not going to buy any more pairs of shoes on this particular last, the, uh, the Park Avenues, McAllister's, Strands, anything that has that same type of shape. By the way, a last is the shape of the shoe. So this shoe in 11 and a half E, which is my size, and this shoe with an 11 and a half E, since they're on the same last, they're going to fit exactly the same, just in case anyone doesn't realize or doesn't know what lasts are. Now, normally when a pair of shoes causes me this much pain and I can't wear them for more than two or three miles without getting some sort of cuts or blisters on my feet, I bin them right away, right? I like to be more minimal than most people. I don't like having a pair of shoes that just sit on the shelf most of the year. And a lot of people might say, well, they're dress shoes, they're not designed for walking. The time of making this video is June 2024, and there are currently a lot of well-made dress shoes on the market that actually do have softer leather and they won't cut into your feet and give you a whole bunch of blisters. I'm at the point in my style journey where if I can't wear something for at least three or four miles without insane significant discomfort, then I don't want to have that in my wardrobe. There's no space for that in my life, basically. These are all material possessions after all. However, saying at the beginning of this video, even though they have that one fatal flaw, which is the comfort. They're cutting up my feet, they're making my feet hurt up here, blisters over here, cutting into it up here. That is their one fatal flaw. I may get rid of them, but I had to think about, well, what would I replace them with? And I've gotta say, I have not seen a pair of wingtip dress shoes that look this good. What I might do, I don't know, maybe I'll just wait for the leather to soften a bit more. I realize I haven't really worn these as much since I have a whole bunch of other options for walking when I wanna wear nice dress shoes. I could start to wear them a lot more. I could continue to stretch them, continue to condition them, continue to let them get softer as I actually wear them. And one thing I also wanna to mention too is I purposefully wore these with thicker athletic socks just to see how they would do. Since dress socks sometimes I don't really wanna wear. However, these are dress shoes and they are designed to fit best with dress socks. And maybe I will try a pair of knee-high dress socks that I have that are, I only have a couple of pairs. Maybe that's the one thing I'll try. And since I'm only gonna be wearing these with a suit or in the summertime and fall and winter, we have tons of options as far as boots, that might be a great option for this shoe and that might take care of all the cuts I'm experiencing, blisters I'm experiencing, any type of discomfort I'm experiencing. Main thing with these is I'm happy that the underfoot comfort is good and I'm happy that I was able to put a stick on sole protector. You could actually see right here, this is after walking for a very long time in them. The sole protectors are actually doing pretty good. They're not moving at all. If they do move, I'll just put some crazy glue on it. But this is a great thing you can do if you do have leather dress shoes, it adds a bit more shock absorption, a bit more comfort on the forefoot, front part of the foot, front part of the shoe rather. And it also, if you're walking through puddles, if you're in a downpour, it's, you're not gonna destroy your leather soles. That's my one beef with leather soles. They are just slippery, they wear out fast, and if you get them wet, they just, they're not good. Not practical, and then you have to resole the entire shoe, which I don't wanna do that just, you know. A, a pair of shoes that you can't wear in the rain is, is just, it's mind-boggling to me. I don't know why anyone would want to actually wear a pair of shoes you can't wear in the rain without being significantly damaged. Should you wear a shoe like this in a downpour? No, but leather is not super delicate, super fragile, but putting a pair of stick-on sole protectors, which by the way, the sole protectors and the shoe stretchers, they'll all be linked below in the description, affiliate links if you wanna help me out. Putting a pair of stick-on sole protectors is going to really make the shoe a lot more practical and a lot more useful in real life situations, not just sitting in an office, driving your car all day, every day. So that's it, that's the Allen Edmonds McAllister. This is my long-term review, my favorite dress shoe. I'm really gonna try to make this work for me. If anything else, I'll just get rid of my other Allen Edmonds dress shoes, keep some boots, and this'll be my one nice dress shoe. That's an option as well. Let me know if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all the other stuff. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.